What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of Let's Talk Movies. It's DC, the Mad Lyrical Wolf coming at you right now for another episode. I want everybody to subscribe right now to my channel so you can check out all the Let's Talk Movies and the episodes you didn't miss. Let's get into it right away. A lot of stuff to talk about today. As I told you every episode, I'm starting it off with a, with a beer or a cocktail. Today I'm going to start it off with a beer. Like I said, quarantine right now. Fortunately, I'm not one of the essential, worship, essential, essential workers. Fucking up and I ain't even drink yet. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not one of the essential workers. So, waiting on the call, you know, get back into the swing of things and go back to the so-called normal life. But anyway, let's talk movies. Let's get into it right away. Start with number 10. Number 10 on my list, we're going to talk about my favorite hood movies today. My top 10 hood movies. There's a lot of hood movies that was done throughout the years. I'm going to tell you my personal favorite. I got to start with number 10, Juice. Man, Juice came out. It came out in 1992. January 17th. It was directed by Ernest uh, Dickerson. Real good hood movie is a hip hop movie. Definitely a hip hop movie. Some of the greatest, bless the uh, soundtrack in this, uh, in this movie. Rock Count, Know the Ledge, Big Daddy Kane, Nuffy Spec Dude. We had Heavy D. Is it good to you? I want to know. Is it good to you? And they went in the record store. Um, we also had EPMD who did a uh, track on there. A lot of other people who blessed the uh, soundtrack. One of the best soundtracks ever in hip hop. I put it up there with uh, Crush Groovin and uh, and um, B Street and, and uh, movies like that. Belly and movies like that. <clears throat> Definitely a good soundtrack. Tupac man played one of the deepest villains in any hood movie. We all know that. Bishop. He, he definitely played his role in a movie. I liked it because it was all about guys hanging out, man, cutting school, just having fun, just being teenagers. That's just something we can all relate to. Each of them had their own personality. The light skinned boy was the laid back boy. He had a little, he had a baby. He was the laid back one. He was the leader and Tupac was jealous of that. You had Omar Epps who was the DJ. He was music was his thing. The fat boy, he always crying all the time in every movie. Even Lean On Me, he was crying in that movie. <laughs> that was just something that he was known for. He was the comedian. He was the comical bull. And Tupac was the outsider. He was the um, he ain't really fitted in like that. That's why he wound up tripping later on. And if you finally really think about it, it was kind of like his real life. Like he was started with Digital Underground, for God's sake. Like, who, people who don't know that. You know, Conscious Bull talking about happy-go-lucky stuff. Hanging out, getting girls and stuff like that. Um, Industry started to dick him over. He got hooked up with Suge Knight. He was on that thug thing right there. And then Tupac always been a soldier of God. Always been. Uh, he was from the Black Panthers. His mom was a Black Panther. He, he come from that line of consciousness. And what happened was when he when he went to Suge Knight and a lot of things start happening. You know, what you hang around, you become part of that. And in the movie Juice, he's kind of it's kind of parallel. It's kind of parallel and the same. Like he, you know, after he, they killed the boy, the light skinned boy, he started to go crazy. And I, my favorite part is when he uh, was in the locker and he told two, he told uh, Omar Epps, he said, he said, I'm not shit, and I ain't gonna never be shit. And you lesser than a man to me. So when I realized that you ain't shit, pow, and so be it. The deep part for any hood movie. Also, my other favorite part of Juice is Samuel Jackson was in the genre. He was the one always trying to talk to the young girls, pointing at his head with Omar Epps saying to him he was trying to give him knowledge. And yo, he had the pimp hat on. That was the time when Samuel was putting a lot of makeup on during that time, and he wasn't a big actor. Then he was like still like a like a character actor and. He was talking to the old head in the shop and all the young kids used to go out and play video games and hang out. And, they, and the old head was like, that's because she had the snappy nappy dugout. 
Samuel Jackson was like, the snappy nappy dugout? He was like, the snappy nappy dugout. 